live from Angel Stadium in Anaheim, the Dodgers take on the Angels in the final exhibition game of the year. Hi, everybody, and a very pleasant Sunday to you, wherever you may be. Hope you don't mind missing that extra hour that we all lost last night. And maybe the prospects of the final exhibition game of the season will get our attention with opening day just around the corner tomorrow. The Angels will fly immediately after the game to Seattle, and the Dodgers will bust back up the road and open up tomorrow afternoon with the Atlanta Braves. The pitching for today, Irvin Santana will be on the mound for the Angels and no doubt, like last night, be followed by a host of pitchers. And the same thing will be for Brett Tomko and the Dodgers. By the way, Tomko is supposed to provide the Dodgers with a lot of innings, and he has done that in each of the last four years, so he becomes the most important part of the picture. And by the way, if all goes well, General Manager Ned Coletti will join us in the third inning. We'll get to the ball game. We'll have all the stats and stories coming up right after this. KFC's all-new Fiery Buffalo Snacker, just 99 cents. An all-white meat chicken sandwich smothered in fiery buffalo sauce. Your dollar goes further at KFC. A rainy day is my chance to be home. Be a fan. Be a kid. Be lazy. Problem is... There are no rainy days. My life is about never settling. That's why my card is American Express. What is Budweiser? It's bright, the look of perfection. It's crisp, with ideal flavor. It's clean, for a great finish. It's pure, made with the finest all-natural ingredients. This is This is Budweiser. This is beer. The Lexus RX has already earned the admiration of the world. But now that the new RX 350 is even more powerful, it's no wonder that for some, envy has turned into obsession. Introducing the 270 horsepower RX 350 from Lexus. Oh, hello. Putting the world on notice, yet again. See your Southern California Lexus dealer. Have you heard the news? Cox 3 and Disneyland Resort are joining together to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Disneyland Park with a special half hour of television. 50 magical years. It's a golden opportunity you won't want to miss. Learn fun facts about the history of this legendary park and its founder, Walt Disney. Get a sneak peek at the new shows and attractions featuring all your favorite characters. It's your chance to join in the celebration. Watch it on demand in the free zone. electronic air suspension, the Germans praised its excellent on-road manners. The Chinese described its smooth ride as uncompromising, thanks to advanced technology like dynamic stability control, all of which explains why the Russians deemed it wonderful for a long day's travel. Applauded worldwide. Designed for the extraordinary. The LR3 by Land Rover. Visit your local Land Rover center. situation here in Los Angeles. This is Curtis Manning at CTU. An agent will make a decision. Go ahead and play the appropriate sports anthem. A band will play a song. Another one bites the dust? A game will be played, and a new identity will be born.
Hi everybody and a very pleasant Sunday to you wherever you may be. The Dodgers and the Angels finishing up their exhibition. And for the Dodgers it'll be Brett Tomko and he'll go up against Irvin Santana. For the Angels they're making it a habit of beating the Dodgers and the Dodger lineup trying to change things now. And it'll be Rafael for call opening up at shortstop. Jose Cruz in right field. Ricky Lede will be in left. And Olmedo Signs will be the DH. After that, you have Nomar Garcia Para at first base. Bill Miller at third. In center field, Cody Ross. Then you have Deona Navarro behind the plate. And it is Sergio Garcia, a young second baseman, who will be batting ninth in the lineup. It will be interesting for Grady Little now that his ball club has been pared down and the Dodgers making the necessary moves. And for Grady, figuring that he has a good ball club as long as it stays healthy. And he already got a jolt. Not only the back spasms of Rafael for call, not only the hamstring pull of Deona Navarro, but then center fielder Kenny Lofton. And Kenny Lofton with a hamstring pull. However, he has bounced back nicely, and he'll be in the starting lineup today behind home plate. So the Dodgers and the Angels getting ready. So it's He's now getting ready. We will have three umpires today. The umpires with Paul Emmel, Paul Rungi and Darrell Cousins. Last night, among others, Brian Gorman was here, but he has moved on to another assignment. So the weather has come up a beauty even though they're talking about some rain probably later on. But as far as Irvin Santana and the Angels are concerned this is a wrap up of their exhibition games and they're doing it well at home. Last year the Angels swept the Dodgers all six exhibition games. And then during the regular season the Angels beat the Dodgers five out of six. Young Irvin Santana and quite a young pitcher a rookie who wound up winning 12 games last year in his last four starts and they were pressure packed starts he was four and zero, oh, a good earned run average of less than three and a half and by winning 12 why that was the most for an angel rookie since Jason Dixon in 1997 and his first major league win was a shutout against the world champion Chicago White Sox. So the Dodgers and the Angels ready to get going and it'll be Rafael for call Jose Cruz and then Ricky Lede in that order. And for Rafael for call it is very good indeed to see the shortstop back and ready to play for call not only figures to be a tremendous shortstop but quite an offensive point man combination of a good hitter and running speed. So for call checks in and takes a look at the first pitch off the plate ball one and the count one and oh. For call followed by Cruz and then Ricky Lede. Back comes Santana and it's hit in the air to center coming up for it is Juan Rivera slipping on the grass and making what appears to be a catch. I think for call is going to be called out but he wasn't sure. So Juan Rivera just had his legs go out from under him as he started to move in on the ball and when he went down you weren't sure if he had held on to the ball or not. However third base umpire Darrell Cousins was the one out near second base who indicated that the catch was made. So Rivera takes a base hit away from for call and with one out here in the first inning Jose Cruz coming up. And he takes a strike and the count on one.
Cruz knows all about taking a header in the outfield. Wasn't too long ago he suffered a mild concussion and he still may be a little bit less than 100 percent with a sore neck. Cruz swings doesn't get it and the count now with him in a hole. The Cruz back up and Ricky Lede on deck. The next one at his kneecaps for another count. So one and two the count waiting on deck is Ricky Lede. Most of the Dodgers left after last night's game and motored back to Dodger Stadium spent the night and then caught a 9 a.m. bus back here. The pitch of the play low down at Cruz feet and the count now two and two. So we have one out in the first inning. Grady Little just a day away from making his debut as the Dodger skipper and Irvin Santana into the windup and the right hand his next pitch is low so pitching very carefully and Santana has worked it to a full count and Lede waiting on deck. So Irvin Santana walking Jose Cruz on the next pitch and that will bring up Lede with a runner at first and one out. Santana is only 23 years old. So he'd be facing Ricky Lede the checks in left handed and on deck hitting cleanup and the DH and that would be Olmedo signs. So Ricky Lede hitting 292 in the spring he has two home runs four runs batted in. Santana ready and deals and that's hit in the air to left field going back on the ball is Curtis pride to make the catch. three quarters of the way to second why Cruz turns and gets back to first two down here in the first inning and the batter Almeido signs signs last night played first base the Dodgers used Alomar and Navarro as DHs. Signs going all the way went 0 for 4 hit a couple of fly balls. So Almeida who figures to be the number one right hand hitter coming off the bench and perhaps occasionally spelling no more Garcia para but today he's the DH and Garcia para out on deck back of him. Santana works a strike and the count 0 and 1. So no more waiting and signs at the plate. Cruz held on at first one out first inning we are just starting out of a stretch goes Santana and the right hand is next pitch in the dirt blocked a scrambling block by Jose Molina and the 30 year old keeps the ball in play and prevents an advancement by Cruz Molina may very well be the backup catcher this year Jeff Mathis caught last night and we mentioned it last night that the Angels having won their division series twice beating the Yankees will try to do something that is very difficult and so will the Dodgers really with rookie catchers although Russ Martin did go out the pitch is high and the point is that since division play going all the way back to 1969 only three teams starting a rookie catcher ever reached the playoffs. So it shows you the importance of the position. Cruz taking his lead held on by Casey Kochman Santana out of a stretch slides the hands out front about at the, the bones above the shoulders and he misses low again so he's behind three and one. Urban Santana is six two but only about one hundred and sixty pounds. Urban peers in getting a sign. Now the right hand already. A look over at Cruz who goes and the pitch is swung on lifted to left center and very deep. However Rivera calls and makes it out just shy of the track and deep is left center. No runs no hits a man left and at the end of half an inning Dodgers nothing Angels coming up. Shake that thing, miss. Can I, can I shake that thing, miss? I know better shake that thing, miss. Can I, can I shake that thing? Yo, I know better get busy. Just shake that booty nonstop when the beat drops. Just keep swinging it. Shake that 
thing, miss, can I, can I shake that thing, yo. Milk, shakes, cookies and cream, hand scoop, shakes and malts with Oreo cookie pieces. New at Carl's Jr. It's Southern California's Ultimate Speed Festival. Six races, including Paul Tracy and rookie Catherine Leg in the Champ Car World Series. The Toyota Pro Celebrity Race, sports cars, drifting, and more. Plus, two great concerts featuring El Tree on Friday and Bad Religion on Saturday. The 32nd Annual Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, April 7th through 9th. Tickets at 888-82-SPEED, longbeachgp.com, or Ticketmaster. Be there. In leadership, no word is more important than trust. You can trust Chevy, the brand more Americans choose. See why during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event, like Silverado half-ton crew cab with more interior room than Ford F-150 Super Crew. Now through April 4th, use $1,000 bonus cash on top of current offers to get a great price on select 05 and 06 Silverado trucks in stock. Offer applies to select vehicles and inventory. See your local Chevy dealer today or visit us online at SoCalChevy.com. The Dodgers failed to score in their half of the first inning and the Angels coming up here at Angel Stadium. The home club will shape up this way. The veteran Edgardo Alfonso will lead off at third base. Macy Aristurus, the stepbrother of Cesar Aristurus at second. Tim Salmon, the DH. Then you have Casey Kochman at first. Juan Rivera in center. Rob Quinlan in right. Jose Molina behind the plate, Curtis Pride in left, and Brandon Wood, the shortstop, batting ninth. So big Brett Tomko, and he is big. He's 6'2", about 230, and the right hand is fastball in for a strike. Tomko out of Euclid, Ohio, 32 years old, and even though he did not have a good year with the Giants last year, he works low and misses, and they count one ball, one strike. Nevertheless, Tomko is a workhorse, and that certainly will be his assignment. Alfonso waiting on the 1 1 pitch, and he backs off the pitch inside ball two, two and one. Alfonso appeared briefly as a pinch hitter last night and grounded out. So Tomko is really asked to take the place of Jeff Weaver, and he misses low. Weaver gave the Dodgers over 200 innings in each of the last two years. Tomko, four years ago, had 204 innings. The next year, 202. Pitt swung on foul back. That's with San Diego and St. Louis. Then with the Giants in 04, he gave the Giants 194 innings. And then lastly with the Giants, 190. So that's the roll. Eat up the innings. And Brett's had a good spring. Fastball hit slowly to short. Scooping the ball up and gunning it over to first is Rafael for call. So Alfonso, a ground ball to short, one down. And the batter now will be Macier Isturis. So as Alfonso goes back to the dugout empty handed, Isturis checks in batting left handed. The Dodgers shorten up. Bill Miller plays in on the grass. His tourist hitting 245 in the spring takes a strike and the count 0 and 1. He finished up last night for Orlando Cabrera and he went one for three. He had a double in the 10th inning but wound up being stranded in that scoreless battle. He swings at an off speed pitch and doesn't get it and the count 0 and 2. Tomko without much of a wind up comes back low and inside. One ball and two strikes. Brett Tomko graduated from El Dorado High School and he played baseball and basketball. He works low again to his tourists. A fine all around athlete who has had an extensive career. He originally came up to Cincinnati way back in 1997. Back he comes and it swung on and fouled away. So Brett Tomko, who makes his home in Poway, just outside of San Diego. Brett ready and back he comes 2 2 and it is inside. Might have hit the bat, although we didn't get a tip from Paul Emmel. 
And we'll check the scoreboard, but they're holding a two and two. Pitch was inside. He checked up. Two balls and two strikes the count. And Tomko into the windup delivers, and that slap foul back into the Nevin. Another great graduate from El Dorado High School was Phil Nevin, who, of course, was a mainstay for quite a few years for San Diego. 2 2 pitch on the way. Swung on, fouled off to the left, and out of play. We had a big crowd on hand last night 43,481. Be that big a crowd today. Nevertheless, the good folks are here. It's a little bit earlier. I think everyone's eggs were scrambled this morning, giving up that hour last night. Pitch outside, and then having a noon and the noon game because the Angels are heading for Seattle. The next pitch is a change whacked into right field for a base hit. So Mayshear is tourist a line drive single to right and the batter now will be Tim Salmon and Salmon made an appearance last night and got an ovation and he is getting a tremendous ovation again today. The very popular Salmon had one at bat last night hit the ball right on the button and lined out to right field. Salmon has had left shoulder problems. He had left knee surgery as well. Last year when the season ended he thought he was walking away from Angel Stadium for the last time. But he decided to give it a try. He was a non roster invitee and he's had a big spring hitting 340 and he has driven in 11 RBIs. The next pitch off the plate. The Salmon with a one ball one strike count. He's also the club's all time home run leader with two hundred and ninety. But because of his injuries he only played in sixty games over the last two years. One and one the count is first and Salmon is way out in front of it and the count runs to one and two. We're in the bottom of the first inning. And the Dodgers with a rather remarkable spring training that shows five ties for Grady Little. You realize the Dodgers had 12 ties and all the other years combined since 1958. Tomko deals fastball swung on and missed and that takes care of Salmon. So Salmon strikes out two down is tourist holding. And the batter now is Casey Kochman. Kochman they have waited for and it seems as if his hour has certainly arrived. He has taken over at first base and that moved Darren Erstad out into center field. The so Kochman waiting and hitting back of him is Juan Rivera. Casey it's a hard ground ball backhanded and then gets away from Garcia and everybody is safe. Sergio Garcia went into a slide to backhand the ball and it got away from him and we would assume that uh, they will charge. Well let's wait and see. They now put the E up. So it's going to be an error charge to put runners at first and second. A little fancier play I think than required. And so Garcia draws the error. And Juan Rivera checking in. Last night Rivera was a roadblock. He came up in the first inning with the bases loaded hit into an inning ending double play came up in the fourth inning with a man on hit into another double play and he takes high ball one. Then last time up Rivera fly to center and late in the game gave way to Salmon's at bat. So Juan Rivera. 27 years old out of Venezuela and originally had a look with the Yankees. Fastball is hit foul down the right field line, slicing back into the stands out of play. So one ball and one strike. Bottom of the first inning, no score in the ball game. Rivera with the Angels last year had 15 home runs, 59 runs batted in, and hit a pretty solid 271, trying to pick up his tourists and Kochman who are out on the lines. 
with two down. Here comes Tom Go and the pitch a change low. Two and one the count. For Tom Go working very hard. His next pitch will be his 25th in the inning. The starting pitchers last night and for that matter throughout the game kept their pitches to a minimum. Most innings and pitches by Escobar was 20 Billingsley 16. Tomko deals and has a high drive into deep left field. Back goes Lede to the track. It is gone. So Juan Rivera who hit 15 last year smokes one into the Angel bullpen. And because of the error by Garcia that kept the door open, the Angels take a three to nothing lead. So Juan Rivera, who was so frustrated last night hitting into those two double plays, but he certainly makes up for it today. So Rivera hits it out and the batter now is Rob Quinlan and he takes the strike. Oh and one. Last year while pitching for the Giants Tomko gave up home runs. He gave up 20 of them. The year he'd really like to forget was when he was pitching for the Cardinals. He gave the club 202 innings but he gave up 35 home runs. Fastball swung on and foul back. And the count one and two. So Rob Quinlan playing right field, Jose Molina on deck. Quinlan, big right hand batter. Out of a stretch goes Tom Go and his next pitch missing low and away. Quinlan is 6 1, 200, and for Grady Little, all eyes on Tom Go right now. Red ready and deals and that one is hit to the gap in right center field and that's going to go to the wall making his turn is Quinlan. He's into second base standing with a double. So Brett Tomko being pushed around a little bit but in all truth the Angels were given the extra out because of the error by Sergio Garcia and the Angels are the kind of a ball club that will really take advantage. Last year among other things the Angels put the ball in play 75 percent. Number one. Number two the fewest pitches per at bat. So they don't go up there with the idea of getting deep in the count and just like Quinlan you walk up and whack it. So the Angels were seventh in runs last year 10th in home runs. And for Grady Little showing some distress talking to Rick Honeycutt. Meanwhile, Tomko deals and the pitch is low, ball one. One and oh. Jose Molina. Molina, 30 years old. He'll be 31 in June. He's from Puerto Rico. And the fastball in the dirt blocked nicely there as Navarro trying to settle Tomko down. In the inning, with one out, is Stura single to right. Salmon struck out. Kochman hit a hard ground ball that should have been the last out, but it was an error. And then Rivera unloads into the Angel bullpen, and Quinlan follows with a double. And it's three to nothing in favor of the Angels. Molina waiting. Tomko delivers, and a little pop fly into shallow right. Garcia going out and makes a flashy over the shoulder catch to end the inning. However, for the Angels, they pick up three runs, three hits, one big error, and at the end of an inning, three nothing Angels. Come into Arby's for the two for three dollar sourdough melts. Roast beef with cheddar or ham and Swiss, both on thick cut sourdough bread. Get any two for only three dollars. It'll have you saying, I'm thinking Arby's. The signs all point to one thing. It's Toyota's premier event. While you're there, check out the Toyota cars with great deals going on now. Choose 750 cash back or load 29 financing on a new 06 Camry. Or lease a new Camry for just $259 a month with a $1,500 drive off. Or lease a new 06 Corolla for just $189 a month with $1,500 due at signing. Toyota's premier event is on. Don't miss it. Toyota, moving forward. Did you know you can start your own business for less than $25? Do you want to be able to set your own hours, spend more time with the family, finally be your own boss? You can. 
with SMC, a proven system that has helped people start their own business for over 50 years. This past year I did $250,000 in sales. SMC has a huge warehouse with thousands of fast-selling products. As a member, you can order any item at rock bottom prices and sell for profit at up to 300%. I'm grossing about $6,000 in sales a month. The product, you put it out and it's, it sells for itself. And if you ever need any help, you have a direct line to our business counselors whose job is to help you succeed. You start part-time or full-time and this is a proven system that has been working for people all over the country. Start towards a better future today. You have nothing to lose. The call is free and the information is free. Call now for free information. Call 1-800-683-2900 now. The Angels lead the Dodgers three to nothing as we go to the second inning. Young Sergio Garcia involved in two big plays might have been a little flashier than he had to be when he committed the error and then made a fine over the shoulder catch going away. Sergio born in Torrance and lives in Paramount so I'm sure in his last stay here he wants to show some of his friends how he can sparkle and he fizzled on one and sparkled on the other. No Mark Garcia Parrott has started off, followed by Bill Miller and then Cody Ross. No more, as usual, fidgeting with his gloves in between pitches. Right hand hitter fouls it back. In fact, before the game, somebody had said to Grady Little, Do you find it annoying watching No more fuss with his gloves? And Grady said, No, I'd only find it annoying if the Little Leaguers started to do it. He said if my grandson started to do it I didn't hit him up alongside the head. So no more fusses and the count is one and two as he fouled off the last pitch and big leaguers always have to realize that they are models to be imitated and that little guy might do it himself someday. Meanwhile Garcia Parra files another one off. Nomar very slowly getting ready. He worked extremely hard not just on fussing with his gloves but learning a new position and he is coming around hitting 254 swings laid on a curveball and down he goes. So Garcia Parra strikes out on the curve one down and the batter will be Bill Miller. Miller a switch hitter will check in left handed. Of course there are quite a few local boys involved in the game you know Jeff Kent he grew up in Bellflower. The pitch is fouled away by Miller. No more Garcia Parra grew up in Whittier. As far as the Dodger coaches, well, Eddie Murray is a Los Angelino, as is Garrett Anderson of the Angels. The pitch hits Miller on the left foot, and he's hobbling now as he gets hit and will be awarded first base. So Miller hit by the pitch and takes the painful walk. Other fellas from hereabouts, Adam Kennedy is from Riverside. Jeff Weaver was born in Northridge. Ron Renicky in Covina. The so Miller still hurting, and Grady Little going out to make sure his third baseman can continue. That had to hurt. Ramon Martinez played third base last night, and you remember last night. Sean Figgins leading off the ball game was hit on the foot. It didn't bother him very long. He promptly stole second base. So Miller trying to hang tough. Matt Wilson is out there along with Grady Little to see if he's all right. Mariano Duncan the first base coach and Miller says I'm going to stay in and give it a try. So one out Grady Little back to the dugout with trainer Matt Wilson. And the hitter is Cody Ross. Cody Ross got a chance to play Kenny Lofton who had muscle spasms in the leg the other night in Vegas has been put on the DL. So Cody Ross who might otherwise have gone away is still going to wear the Dodger blue and he's in center field today. So Ross who has had a good spring four home runs nine runs batted in. And a 317 springtime average bangs one into the gap in right center trying to cut it off is Rivera 
Ross a turn and holding and over to third goes Bill Miller on the long single. So Cody Ross continues to impress. He has had a fine spring and adds to it with a base hit to right center. It's three to nothing in favor of the Angels on a three run home run by Juan Rivera and Irvin Santana now pitching to Deanna Navarro. Navarro the kid catcher only 22 years old a switch hitter and he was in 50 games last year and hit 273 after being called up from Las Vegas. So Russell Martin who was here just as young as the honor Martin goes to Vegas to take his place for a while. The one out runners at the corners Santana out of a high set and the fastball away ball one. If you talk to Grady little about his catching Grady says that he would like to have Alomar catch somewhere around 20 to 25 percent of the games and it might very well be that Alomar would become the personal catcher for Odalis Perez. The pitch is up and in and so Santana in a little trouble now. Two and all the count after striking out Garcia Parra he hits Miller and Ross hits him with a base hit. So down the line from third is Miller away from first is Ross. Two balls and no strikes the count to Navarro. Santana delivers ground ball to the hole. It's going to be smothered by his third to make the play. Miller scores. Ross goes to second. And we have two down in what is now Angels three, Dodgers one. So Navarro hitting into a four to three play, and a good play it was by Macy or his tourist. Deanna getting the run batted in. So now hitting ninth in the lineup, Sergio Garcia. Garcia at a championship Jacksonville club last year hit 248. Right handed all the way and he takes ball one. No particular power to talk of. Garcia had four home runs last year. One of his home runs was an inside the park home run. He looks at a wrinkle that drops in for a strike and the count one and one. In a game at Jacksonville last year Garcia came in as a late defensive replacement in the top of the 11th inning and hit the inside the park home run in the bottom half of the 11th to win the game. He takes one that misses and the count two and one. Garcia only five nine about one hundred and seventy five pounds. Santana look back at second at Cody Ross fastball is low. Though the count three and one and Raphael for call waiting on deck. So Santana struggling a little bit here. For call hoping for a shot to drive in a run or two and Santana at the belt. Irvin deals and it's swung on and fouled off. So figuring that Santana would come fastball three and one. They green lighted Garcia and he fouls it away. To a full count Cody Ross at second three to one Angels and we're in the second inning. Santana ready and a high fastball for ball four. So the Dodgers get their second walk. Cruz walk in the first inning. Bud Black going out to Council Santana and Rafael for call will be checking in. Bud Black was born up north in San Mateo. The well respected pitching coach who won one hundred and twenty one games in his big league career pitched in the World Series pitched in the league championship series. A classy left hander with a great deal of knowledge. Going back into the dugout. The Angel pitching staff reflected, I think, a lot of Bud Black's knowledge. 
So now Santana trying to be straightened out and comes in with a strike to for call and the count 0 and 1. For call a fly ball to center and Juan Rivera made a tumbling catch to get him. Rafael waiting with two on and two out three to one Angels second inning. Fastball little roll at a shortstop Brandon Wood is up with it and gets him and so the Dodgers get one and lead two with just one hit and at the end of an inning and a half the Angels three and the Dodgers one. Every bite's a dream. The new lineup of Dream Pie Blizzard treats a Dairy Queen. <sighs> Coming at you hard like this. You ain't got this. New K Swiss. Can you rock the shield? K, K Swiss. This is on the ne 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 next level. So clean, so classy. That's fire right there. How you doing? Thanks for inviting me out to the house. Let's go see what you got in here. Ooh. You can show your hands. It's hard for an official to call a foul. Count it. It's over. Hey, yeah. Yeah. You've seen how they play. Now see how they live. With AT&T Home Turf, you can see more of your favorite players, their lives, their homes, and the technology inside. Get free downloads and a chance at hundreds of prizes only at SeeHowTheyLive.com. The Lexus RX has already earned the admiration of the world. But now that the new RX 350 is even more powerful, it's no wonder that for some, envy has turned into obsession. Introducing the new 270 horsepower RX 350 from Lexus. Oh. Hello. Putting the world on notice yet again. Three to one in favor of the Angels as we go to the bottom of the second inning. Curtis Pride, then Brandon Wood, and Edgardo Alfonso. If you wonder why the Dodgers went out of their way to get Bill Miller, all you have to do is look at all the people who played third base for the Dodgers. We'll call up some names Antonio Perez and Mike Edwards Oscar Robles and Jose Valentin Willie Ibar Olmedo signs and Norahiro Nakamura. The pitch of the plate on the corner and so even though just an exhibition game when Miller was hit on the foot you can imagine Grady Little saying oh no. However Bill is hung in there and Tomko trying to do the same. Right handed deals and it's lifted to deep left field. Back goes Lede on the track and makes a nice catch going away. So a long out for Curtis Pride to left field. One down and Brandon Wood will be coming up. Shortstop Brandon Wood is a fella upon whom the Angels field will become quite a ball player drafted out of Scottsdale right hand batter first ball swinging pops it up on the infield it looks like Miller and Bill moving to his left and he has to fight it to make the catch so Brandon Wood pops up to Bill Miller two down here in the second inning and Edgardo Alfonso coming up. Edgardo Alfonso boy what a career he has had 32 years old he just seems to be older because he came up to the big leagues in 1995 with the Mets he takes the strike and he put up some big numbers Edgardo has hit as many as 27 home runs and has hit over 300 many times in fact first quick glance four or five times he batted over 300 and his major league lifetime batting average 287. He had 10 points under that last year for the Giants 
and promptly lifts one foul off to the right. Fiona Navarro comes over and one hands it for the nice out. And a very easy inning after Tomko labored 33 pitches in the first inning. He gets him down in order, but the Angels lead 3-1. to one. Absolutely huge. Introducing the new one-third pound Big Dogs featuring the double cheese chili, barbecue bacon, and pastrami Reuben. Only at Wiener Schnitzel. Permanente. Thrive. We each had profiles on other sites and we, and we, never, we never met. Because we had picked out our search criteria that we thought is what we wanted right. in another person. At eHarmony, our process is designed to elicit your true self. It's that science. It kind of gives you that insurance that the person you're meeting is actually somebody that you could get along with. eHarmony does it better, that's for sure. Begin the exciting journey to your soulmate by getting your compatibility profile. It's a $50 value, yours free, when you log on to eHarmony.com. We know what you do out there, so we put an award-winning Xterra in here. The Nissan Xterra Motor Trend 2006 Sport Utility of the Year. With a covered gearbox, rear bumper steps, and easy clean cargo area. Now drive the 2006 Nissan Xterra from just $20,555. Extra stuff, extra powerful Xterra. Tomorrow, the channel you are watching will no longer be the same. The Angels leading three to one as we go to the third inning. And as promised, Dodger General Manager Nick Coletti had Ned has come on up into the booth and we're trying to rearrange the furniture. And the first pitch low, ball one to Jose Cruz. Three to one in favor of the Angels. Cruz in his at bat in the first inning drew a walk. It'd be followed by Lede and signs, and if anybody gets on, Nomar Garcia Para. Laying off a pitch just low. So Cruz on the edge of getting his second walk. Interesting how pitchers can improve. Tomko in the first inning made 33 pitches and only seven in the second. That's a strike to Cruz. And the count now three and one. The difference in the game an error by Sergio Garcia and a home run with two aboard by Juan Rivera. The next one a half swing for a strike. The Jose Cruz starting off three and two. Irvin Santana working his third inning and leading three to one. Lean right hand ready and here he comes low. So for the second time Jose Cruz draws a walk and Rick Lede will be the batter. So Ricky Lede who made a couple of nice plays defensively fly to left field in the first inning. And Ricky now coming up with Olmedo signs hitting back of him and Lede winds up with the wrong bat. So that will take a little bit of time. Nothing like having the one you want. The so Ricky Lede finally says I got the bat now we'll see if there's a base hit in it or not. And welcome to the booth as advertised uh, Ned Coletti moving day in many ways here in the booth. Moving day <laughs> we, had, <laughs> and we had to get the furniture ready to squeeze you in here as uh, Lede waits at the plate Santana a look over at first now to the plate and Lede takes a strike and the count on one. All right for all the world to see the Dodger general manager Ned Coletti and we have already seen the specter of every general manager's nightmare and that will be the specter of injury and we'll go through them without missing a pitch and follow the game. Santana's next one is outside. If you look at the Dodgers this spring and you had Jose Cruz suffer a mild concussion diving in a ball in left field. You had Diona Navarro come down with the hamstring. You had Rafael for call coming off knee surgery suddenly having back spasms. 
Out of a stretch goes Santana, looks over at first, comes back inside the Lede in the count two and one. And of course, most recently, the fact that Kenny Lofton was to play in Las Vegas, couldn't play with spasms in the leg and is now put on the DL. Correct. Uh, part of the, you know, part of the season already, and it's uh, hopefully we can get out of it and, and get ourselves healthy. Grady Little had made an interesting point and there's a line drive base hit to right field by Ricky Lede. Cruz will stop at second as Quinlan gets the ball back in. So the Dodgers are in business first and second and nobody out. Well of course no ball club has 25 sensational players but it would appear as if you've been able to stock your club with ample reserves to jump in there when somebody is put on the DL or just missing a couple of days. Well, we've tried that. We've tried to upgrade the bench. When you had, when we added the the position players, we did it. Actually, made the bench stronger because mm -hmm. they had been playing a lot of the full time last year. Plus, we've got some kids at Vegas that if we can we can get through most of the season or half the season injury free, we've got a chance to use them if we need it. Olmedo signs takes a pitch low, ball one. Cruz at second, Lede at first, nobody out. Signs, Garcia, Parra, and Miller do up. And I guess you held your breath when Miller was hit on the foot. We had shown a little while ago all of the different players who played third base for the Dodgers last year. Well, <laughs> this is the last game of the camp. We hope we can get out of here alive. That's right. The fastball is a little high and outside. Two balls and no strike. I guess it must have been difficult for you, for Grady Little, and just about anybody else in management to send Oscar Robles out. It was very difficult. It was the most contested uh, competition in the camp between him and Ramon Martinez. But as I told Oscar's agent last night, we're not going to go with 25 men all year long. He's going to have a chance to come up here and contribute. Fastball is low. So Santana struggling now. Walk Cruz gave up a single of the day. And he is 3 and 0 to Amado Sign. One pitch away from loading him up, but no Mar Garcia Parra. Well, last year, Robles hit over 400 in the spring and was still sent back to Mexico and then called up in the middle of the year and hit in the 270s. Fastball is off the plate, and so the Dodgers now have loaded up. The Dodger position players right now, you have Navarro along with Alomar as the backup. Your infielders, well, the regulars, Garcia Parra and Kent for Call and Miller, backed up by Martinez and Signs. Your outfielders, six of them Cruz, Repco, Drew, Lede, Ross, and Lofton. And Cody Ross has certainly impressed. How long he's going to stay with the team is questionable, but he has certainly made the most of his opportunity. He's, got, he's had a great spring and with the deal at Kenny Lofton. It's going to give him a chance to play here for a while and, and play in the big leagues a little bit more than he has in the past. I'm going back to Robles for a second and I'll, after this pitch here. Garcia Parra, big swing and a miss, 0 and 1. That goes back to the first thing we talked about here, Ben, about, about the depth and having, having reserves, having people you can count on in the event that you do have an injury. And I know Oscar's disappointed in playing in Vegas, but I, I got a feeling that it's going to be a, having him here as a godsend for the organization that we've got that kind of depth in the middle infield because they're tough to find. Garcia Parra takes a breaking ball for a strike, so the count 0 and 2. Grady Little leaning forward again to watch his first baseman. No balls and two strikes. Bases loaded. Nobody out. 3 1 Angels. And a fastball is swung on and missed. So he got him 0 2 with breaking stuff and then blew the ball by him. Are you concerned at all about Garcia Parra not hitting in the spring? You know, I've. I've watched them all spring and I do have a little bit of concern. I don't know the player well enough to know if this is a typical spring for him if he's a slow starter. What does Grady say. Uh, Grady's a little bit concerned too but he also says that he thinks that when the season starts we're going to see a different player. Sometimes the greatest difference in a season is today the day before the season mm -hmm. and tomorrow the day the season starts. Well here's Bill Miller and he takes a strike and they count on one. And instead of Miller he's coming out for Jimmy Rohan. So Miller, who was hit on the foot, gives way to Rohan, and right away, uh, <laughs> Ned Coletti shakes his head a little bit. Pitch is swung on and missed. Of course, uh, Jimmy Rohan, a local boy, and a chance for him to show off in front of the folks in a big league uniform. 
Santana trying to wiggle out of a jam and the right hander deals breaking ball hit down to shortstop Wood gets it over to second for one to first base not in time the throw dropped by Casey Kotsman anyway and the run comes in so Cruz carries it over and the Dodgers get a little bit closer it's now Angels three Dodgers two and the batter will be Cody Ross. How about your pitching so far. We've seen good and bad. Uh, we've seen some great performances out of Tom Coe and Derek Lowe this spring. Of course with Dallas Pros was in the WBC for most of the spring. Um, Penny's been up and down. Uh, we need him to kind of step it up a little bit and, and uh, he's got great stuff. Uh, what he what he does with it is going to determine how good he is and to some extent how good we're going to be. And uh, Jay So is also in the WBC. We saw a real good performance out of him the other day against Detroit. Uh, I think the bullpen uh, we're a little bit concerned with Eric but uh, again the opening day is a uh, different breed of cat than the, the spring training season so hopefully he can he can be a little bit better than he's been. Yeah once the uh, adrenaline begins to really pump in earnest it's a totally different game as far as your pitchers low Penny Perez Tomko and so and then in the bullpen Baez followed by Brazaban Carter Gagne. And then left handers Hamalak and Quo, and then right hander Osoria. It looks like a pretty good bullpen, and it would become a marvelous bullpen if Gagne comes all the way back. If he's back, I tell you what, it's going to be, I think it's got to change one of the best bullpens in the league. We've got depth there. You've got a different type of pitcher with Carter, who's more of a changeup guy. The rest are pretty much power arms. Um, I'm encouraged by the bullpen, especially with our starters. Uh, the combination should be pretty decent. Cody Ross is hit by a pitch. On the left hand, and I think he was called back by Paul Emmel, and now he said, No, you go to first. So Ross is hit by a pitch. Rohan moving down to second. And just like that, the Dodgers have loaded the bases, and Grady Little now wants to check. Can we change the subject? <laughs> I was just let's start. You know what was it? Thirteen hundred and some odd player days you lost last year, and today somewhat of a frightening game. And of course, you can hurt at any time playing this game. And here you are with Miller getting nailed, and now Raw. So Santana on the wild side, and Matt Wilson trying to take care of that left hand. So the batter will be Navarro. With the bases loaded. This is a tough topic. <laughs> yeah, it really is. You know, it seemed like the normal. Well, that was last year. You had all these injuries, and uh, you're over that. But uh, it looks like Cody is okay. Meanwhile, Bill Miller down in the dugout. He knows about getting hit on the foot. Uh, he'll call it a day but Ross stays in there. So the Dodgers have loaded the bases for Deona Navarro. In this series you know with Navarro catching and last night Jeff Mathis catching for the Angels with Russ Martin for the Dodgers it brought up an interesting point. There's ball one to Navarro. And we mentioned it since division play began in 1969. Only three teams have ever reached the playoffs with a rookie catcher. Showed you just how important that position is. Navarro hits it foul down the line back into the crowd behind the Angel dugout. So Ricky Lede waiting to be picked up. And Dodgers at every station and young Urban Santana in a jam. Two down, however, and the next pitch a check swing for a strike. So the Dodgers in the inning had Cruz walk and Lede single, signs walk after Garcia Parra struck out. Rohan batted and he forced signs. And then Ross was hit by a pitch. Next one foul back. So the Dodgers. Have Ross and Rohan along with Lede out there on the lines and Navarro trying to pick him up. One of the comforts I'm sure you must have had, I mean, Gagne scared everybody, and then it turned out that 
He did not have a broken eardrum, but he did have an ear infection. Is the presence of Danny Baez. I mean, he saved 41. He knows what closing is all about. Well, that was part of the plan this winter. When we made that deal, we had no inclination that uh, Eric was going to have a tough time recuperating from surgery. But, you know, watching the 90 Reds when they had uh, the three pitchers at the end of the game, watching Rivera and Wetland with the Yankees mm -hmm. a few years ago, I always think it's best that if you can shorten that game and you can even put two closer types, two people that have done it for the eighth and the ninth inning, you got a much better chance. So it's kind of a safeguard against Eric coming back all the way and also giving us a chance to shorten the game. And you have a more experienced uh, Brazaban who saved 21 last year. The pitch is low to Navarro. So Irvin doing a high wire act. And he has gone with the bases loaded, two balls, two strikes. The Angels trying to hold on to what is now a three to two lead. And for Santana, he's ready to make his 30th pitch. Tomko made 33 pitches in the first inning. Santana deals and it's a ground ball to the right side up with it there is Macy or is Sturz to take care of Navarro but the Dodgers get one leave three and at the end of two and a half inning Angels three Dodgers two. What do a mob boss, a hitman, the girl next door, and a guy named Slevin have in common? Long story short, all the pieces will come together in this year's must-see thriller. So it's a good thing. Lucky number Slevin, rated off the theater Friday. T-bone, pour the house for the make none. Ribeye, steak. I like steak. There are two ways to have a juicy steak in the morning. Good most any time. One is just a little more difficult. I like steak. The Steak and Egg Burrito, new at Carl's Jr. Whether you're a casual rider or a hardcore biker, Geico Motorcycle Insurance has you covered. No wonder thousands of riders are switching to Geico each week. Geico. One call could save you money on your motorcycle insurance, too. Let's ride. Nothing is more powerful than the truth, and the truth is more Americans choose Chevy than any other brand. See why during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event, like Chevy Equinox, with more rear seat room than any full-size SUV. During the Chevy NCAA March Madness event, use bonus cash to get a great price on select trucks and SUVs in stock like the Equinox. Offer applies to select vehicles and in inventory. See your local Chevy dealer today or visit us online at SoCalChevy.com. Here at Angel Stadium, 3-2 to two in favor of the Angels, bottom of the third inning. It'll be Macy or Asturias, followed by Tim Salmon and Casey Kochman. Chris Truby has taken over at third base for Bill Miller. And Brett Tomko ready to work on to Sturis, who takes a strike in the count on one. Well, we've talked about uh, the specter of injury. We've talked about how you have well stocked the bench because it's such a long year. As Sturis hits one foul down the line. What's been the biggest surprise for you, Ned, uh, since taking over for the Dodgers? I would have to say that. Um the passion of the fans and the amount of fans that this organization has even though you, you read about it from afar and it's you know you draw three million people all the time uh, the outpouring from the fans to me has been unbelievable. Well of course you originally started in Chicago with Cub fans so uh, you know what it's like to have what would you say rabidity in the ballpark yeah. there's a pop fly that'll be caught by Cody Ross one away. The, uh, in spring training, I had so many families come up to me who had ventured from Los Angeles to Vero Beach to, to watch the club play. And I had a chance to talk to them a lot. And I must get 40, 50 letters a week from, from people with different, different things to say and ideas. And it, it's very interesting because when you come in here with a, with a different club, the stereotype is that they, they, they show up late and they, they leave early. Mm -hmm. But it's more, I think, a, a product of the... Uh, how far they come to watch a game than it is exactly. anything else. Absolutely. It's, it's one of the it's awesome. I'll tell you what it's something else. Tim Salmon up there with one out third inning three to two in favor of the Angels. 
And Brett Tomko, who has made 40 pitches coming in, and his pitch swung on and missed. So he's now made 46 pitches. And we're in the third inning. We're visiting with Dodger General Manager Ned Coletti the day before opening day. Got a few butterflies? You know what? I'm anxious. I really am. Salmon looks at his strikes. So Big Tim, who struck out in the first inning, had one at bat last night and lined out to right field. This has been my uh, my fastest winter and my slowest winter <laughs> waiting for April 3rd to get here. Yeah, now all of a sudden, all of us are the same way. Can't wait. Tomko ready and comes back one two and that's foul back. In looking at Brett Tomko, you have a fellow who has piled up a lot of innings, and of course that's part of his role. 204 innings in 02, 202 innings 03, 194 for the Giants, followed by 190. So he is a mainstay as he strikes out Salmon a second time. There's a uh... I think in baseball there's very few number one starters around. So when you try to build a staff, I think what you have to do is you have to get guys that can eat up innings, guys that can go out to give you six, seven innings most starts. And then when you've got that, if you can build the bullpen strong enough, you can you can weather the storms of the season because there's very few guys giving you eight, nine innings nowadays. Casey Kochman takes inside ball one. Yeah, the complete game has disappeared like the Buffalo. I yeah. guess. I mean, you go back to even like the 1960s and 70s. There was pitchers, you know, Koufax and Drysdale. They had more complete games, either one of them, than five or six teams have now. Yeah. Of course of the season. Kochman takes a change in the dirt and they count two balls and no strikes of the left hand hitting first baseman who hit a hard ground ball and Sergio Garcia unable to make the play for an error and that left the door open instead of the third out and Juan Rivera hit the bomb a three run home run but since then the Dodgers have nibbled back a run in the second and a run in the third so it's three two angels bottom of the third inning the next one at the knees for a strike. And the count three and one. Tomko ready. Three one pitch fouled away off to the left. What made you decide you and Grady Little to go with 12 pitchers because we had heard for quite a while. Well they're four days off in April. They really only need 11 pitchers. Well we thought that we were going to take we took the best arms and we decided that. It's a looper down the left field line. It's in there for a base hit going all the way down in the corner. And by the time Lede gets it back to the infield, Kochman is into second base with a wrong field double. And the batter will be Juan Rivera. By the way, we were talking about the changes in the lineup. Jimmy Rohan is at third. And the Dodgers are also changing with Chris Truby at first. Spring training is a nightmare for changes on the field without the announcements. So now Rivero at the three run home run checks in. We were talking before about pitching right. and you had sent Hamelock off and then called him back. So now you have a couple of left handers in the bullpen. Fouled away by Rivero on one. Part of it was um, to protect Quo a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. He's coming off of two Tommy John surgeries. He had a great spring, but we didn't want to have him in a position where maybe almost every game you have that need for a left hander to come in out of a bullpen. And rather than than put him in a situation where he's going to be called upon two or three days in a row by adding Hamilton back into it, it may give us a chance to be more more you know, different times we could use Quo rather than every day. Fly ball to center. Ross is there to handle it, and that'll do it in the third. No runs, a double, and a man left. And at the end of three, it is three to two Angels. I want to give your ciabatta major buzz. Rubber wristband, never been done before. Or Washington? He's dead. I'm thinking 
Chibata Junior High. I got more. Sheila! This woman is willing to name her firstborn baby Chibata. How about I just keep making great ciabatta sandwiches? Like the ciabatta breakfast sandwich, bacon and cheese ciabatta burger, and bruschetta chicken ciabatta. You gonna be home for dinner? Yes. A history lesson. A first bite. A towering blast. A lucky hat. A new hero. Dodger baseball. What will you take home? Take home all the action all season with our Blue Heaven Value Plan. Season seats start at just $3. To order, visit Dodgers.com or call 866-DODGERS. We're going to the fourth inning here at Angel Stadium, our final exhibition game of the year. The Angels leave after the game to go to Seattle. The Dodgers will go home and open up tomorrow with the Atlanta Braves. I believe the Braves, Ned, are in town, and we're going to work out at Dodger Stadium. Yes, today. I came in last night. I saw Frank Wren uh, in the lobby of the hotel this morning, enjoying a cup of coffee and mm -hmm. reading the paper and taking the day off. I invited yeah. them down. I said we'd get a bus, bring the whole team down here if they wanted. They, <laughs> they right. passed, though. Oh, they passed. Well, we see now about Irvin Santana pitching, and for the Dodgers, Sergio Garcia, followed by Rafael for call. And then Jose Cruz and the first pitch popped in the air foul off to the right and that will carry back into the stand. Mike Elward has taken over at first base for the Angels for Casey Kochman. And we had to dig to find out about Mike. He's from Clearwater. And he has been in the organization for the last five years. So Mike Elward 6 2 2 10 at first and 3 2 in favor of the Angels in the fourth. Well, Ned, like all of us, we wish you a very successful season and a great way to start against a guy who has won over 2,000 games, and that, of course, would be uh, Bobby Cox, whose winning percentage is only behind, I think, it's John McGraw and Joe McCarthy. You know, he, I think, is one of the most underrated managers in the game. Uh, you consider that what they've done there for the last 14 years, winning all those division titles, that is not an easy thing to do. And he's been the one constant, him and John Sherholtz have been the two constants to the, to the organization. Bobby Cox has won 2,092 games. Meanwhile, Brett Tomko talking to Grady Little in the near corner of the dugout. High fly ball into right center. Moving over is Quinlan and Rivera, and Quinlan makes the catch for the out. The Garcia fly ball one away, and the batter is Rafael for call. How do you judge a player? I mean, first of all, you have to know did he play winter ball? Is he a little bit ahead of the other teams and the other pitchers? Uh, just how can you judge the difference between AAA and big league in spring training? It's got to be hard. It is difficult, and you have to go a lot about your uh, your player development people who know the player better and who have seen the player play every day, mm -hmm. and where he's at. You get a bit of an idea, but even in January when you have your meetings, who's on the verge of, of of coming to the big leagues and making an impact and sticking. Fouled away down the line on the dead run is Edgardo Alfonso, but he can't catch up to it. So for call fly to Santa grounded to short and Edgardo back to his position. And of course you had read and heard about all of the fine Dodger prospects but you had never seen them. No it was part of the, the trick of the winner to get to spring training without having to make a move on anybody that we really didn't have a chance to see all the time. I take spring training I break it down and really one on one confrontations between the pitcher and the hitter whether we're looking at the pitcher or looking at the hitter rather than the score of the game rather than how the game gets played mm -hmm. just one on one battles to see how everybody deals with it. Breaking ball has popped up in the shallow center coming in is Juan Rivera to pick it off and you have two down in the fourth inning and Jose Cruz coming up. Also I guess let's take a veteran player you look over the past and find out is he one of these guys who's very slow in spring training and do they keep records on such a thing so you're able to look it up. Well you can look at the stats how people have done but what we've done in the past is we'll call a club that the player played for most recently and we everybody knows somebody so go to a coaching staff or the manager and ask if this has been the way they've always been in the spring if they've always been slow mm -hmm. if they've uh, if they turn it on on opening day so to speak it's uh, 
it's a, it's unscientific really and it, you really take it as it comes and you try to learn as much as you can about everybody as you're going through it. Cruz swings doesn't get it. The Jose 0 and 2 the count walked twice today against Santana and Santana has now made 74 pitches in three and two third innings so he's working hard and a good overhand breaking ball even though what seemed to be a bad follow through by Santana and Cruz strikes out and at the end of three and a half we'll continue our visit with Ned Coletti Angels three Dodgers two. KFC's all new fiery buffalo snacker just 99 cents an all white meat chicken sandwich smothered in fiery buffalo sauce. Your dollar goes further at KFC. What if the Wall Street Journal said the all-new Mercury Milan could win over customers from Honda Accord or Toyota Camry? What if they said Milan mixes economy, performance, and an unexpected dose of style? Has details we usually see on European sports sedans, and then concluded Milan handled well, was fun to drive, and was peppy in traffic. We'd say they're right. Especially with zero first month's payment, zero down, and zero cash due at signing for just $2.56 a month. You've got to put Mercury on your list. Hi there. Oh. Let me help you. Okay. I'm right over here. Alley oop. There we go. Take these and give you these. Tea and cookies. Big from scratch. I'm thinking you're a disco girl. There we go. And you're off. Everyone could use a little spirit of giving. To learn how you can contribute to Mission Hospital's spirit of giving, please visit spiritofgiving.org. All new attractions like Monsters Inc., Mike and Sully to the rescue. <laughs> Our 50th celebration is really kicking into high gear. Come join us. Now with the two for Southern California residents can visit Disneyland one day, then Disney's California Adventure on a different day for free. Right down the line, it is gone. Bottom of the fourth inning, three to two in favor of the Angels, and Rob Quinlan will start it off, followed by Jose Molina. And then Curtis Pride. Well, Ned, everybody knows when you go shopping, you're not looking for a sale. You're looking for something that's worth a lot of money. And just to look at four of your acquisitions means you have really, well, just look at them. Look at what Rafael Fercal has done. Nomar Garcia Parra, Kenny Lofton, and Bill Miller. I mean, you went out and got some big players. Well, they're also players that have been in the postseason a lot. And they, they know the rigors of a season. They know uh, what it takes to be a, a good club. And I think part of it is, is uh, both uh, for this year's club, but also I wanted the young players that we had in camp to be around guys like this, to see what it takes, what it's like. The season is so long, and um, you learn so much about people that having people who have been there before should make, should make it a better experience for everybody. It's, it's too tough to do it when you've got the inexperience and you're going you're trying to, to find your way through it. The players we brought in have all been through it many times. And you and Grady Little have to be on the same page of course in order for good things to happen. Ground ball to short Ramon Martinez in there now gets his man so we have one down in the fourth inning. We talk all the time all went along we spoke and, and he and I had no relationship prior to, to him being hired here us interviewing for the first time there. So it's uh, it's a different environment because we really don't know each other that well. It's not like we've been friends for five, you know, five, ten years, something right. like that. But we do communicate all the time. Uh, we don't always agree, which is the way I don't want to always agree with him, and he doesn't want to always agree with me. You can't, you can't be successful just saying yes all the time. So uh, we're going to communicate every day, us and the staff. It's, uh, it's part of the the regiment. It's part of how we do business, and we'll spend time every day, whether it's 30 minutes. Three hours, five minutes, it doesn't matter, just so we always know where we're at and what we're thinking. Probably the biggest task for Grady Little is to take so many people from various ball clubs and make them a team. He was saying, and it was just a kind of a generic thing, and he was saying, well, I'd be happy to go seven and seven the first two weeks, just as long as the team has a good opportunity to gel. It's very true. Um, it's it's one of the things we're going to have to hope we get through here soon 
Uh, we try to do it in the spring by having dinners with everybody and, and bringing everybody together so that the uh, the community could start to develop sooner rather than later. Um, a lot of the guys have played alongside each other from time to time, but it is a different experience and there's going to be some that that takes place and I think we'll as soon as we hit a, a bit of a down streak where we start maybe lose two or three games in a row. That'll be a test. I think you're always tested through adversity more than you are through celebration and that's going to be one of the first things we're going to have to measure and see how we do. Molina with a count of two balls and two strikes is three two angels bottom of the fourth. We're visiting with Ned Coletti. One of the things that Grady Little did this spring was great having one player get up and talk to the team every day and eventually it got to Takashi Saito getting up and singing <laughs> Hey Jude but it was all a terrific yeah, idea. Yeah it really was I think it brought people closer together. Uh, you know poor Saito he had uh, he was told there were four rookies going to sing that day and when he got done he says where's the other three and great he said we sent the other three down already. <laughs> <laughs> Molina hanging tough up there in a two and two count. I think we've tried to do as many things in the spring to to bridge that gap with different mm -hmm. people coming in. You, you can't you can't completely do it. It takes time. It takes it takes a season. It takes adversity. It takes a lot of different things to to mold the group. Molina swings and misses and down he goes. Well, the original idea of Vero Beach, when the Dodgers had 26 farm clubs, we had as many as 750 players in camp. You would have this long chow line and on the line would be Walter and K. O'Malley and maybe directly in front of them a kid on class D and behind them a kid from class C. But the whole idea was yep. to bring the organization together and I think you have really made a tremendous effort to this has been kind of a throwback year even the way you have invited all the staff members of the minor league teams together to have a festive night once in a while. Well nobody's more important than than the person standing next to him. everybody's got a great role in this organization whether they're coaching in a ball or they're coaching in Los Angeles. And now. Uh, I believe in that I believe that everybody's got value and everybody contributes and if you leave somebody out they're going to feel left out and that's the, that's the worst thing you can do from a management point of view I think everybody's got to be together they've all got value they can all add something they've all got an impact on it. One ball and one strike Brett Tomko trying to finish the inning and a high fly ball to left field Ricky Lede is there and Ned Coletti thank you so very much for taking the time out to visit with us. Thank you very much always a pleasure looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you. Our guest Ned Coletti the general manager of the Dodgers and at the end of four three two Angels. Right now, as members of Best Western Speed Rewards, stay six nights and earn a free night and earn points towards exclusive NASCAR licensed merchandise. Join today at bestwesternracing.com slash free night. Keep it under 200. Drink a Pepsi and you could win an all new 2007 Chevy Tahoe customized by Jeff Gordon. tricked out by exhibit. Don't scratch the 24s. We're giving away a Chevy Tahoe every single day for 70 days during the free ride sweepstakes. Get details at pepsifreeride.com. Every one of your senses a priority. The all new 306 horsepower IS from Lexus at your Southern California Lexus dealer. A history lesson. A first bite. A towering blast. A lucky hat. A new hero. Dodger baseball. What will you take home? On Tuesday, April 4th, Wednesday, April 5th, take home a Dodger car window cling from General Motors. For tickets, visit Dodgers.com or call 866-DODGERS. Three to two Angels as we work our way to the fifth inning. And the Angels change the battery. Urban Santana has come out. So Dan Davidson will take over on the mound. And the left hander will be handled behind the plate by Ryan Buddy. 
the rookies coming in. What happens when you get to this stage of spring training the managers know that they're going to be cutting a lot of kids and sending them out. And so they try to give them a little experience wearing a major league uniform in a major league ballpark in a major league game. So Dan Davidson coming up from double A and he'll be pitching to Ricky Lede to start it off. Davidson is a Floridian. Lede with the bat today is fly to left and single to right. Foul back out of play. First thing if you're a left hand hitter like Ricky Lede you're going to have to really hang in there against Davidson. He is a big fella. Six feet four, two twenty five. So he's all elbows and kneecaps coming at you. Off speed popped in the air at third. Alfonso puts it away. So Lede pops it up one away here in the fifth inning. And the batter will be Olmedo Signs. Dan Davidson, 25 years old. He was just 25 in January. Last year in Arkansas, he was 13 and 5. Signs today fly to center and walk. That's right, 0 and 1. It takes us a while sometimes to figure out who's playing. And for the moment, we have a mystery man in center field. Can't quite find the number. Off speed, signs fouling it back. There's our man, 95, and there is no 95 on the roster of players that we have, but uh, sooner or later we'll find out. 0 oh 2 the count to Almedo signs. Oh, good off speed pitch. The bottom dropped out of that thing and signs fool. So Dan Davidson picks up his second out and the batter now. Oh, we just found out the center fielder for the Angels, his name is Cody Fuller. So we certainly don't want to slide him. Cody Fuller. And Cody, at least from Texas. Ah, uh, the spring. Meanwhile, a broken bat drive down the line foul and the count 0 and 1. Two down in the fifth inning. Chris Truby finishing at first base for Nomar Garcia Para. On deck, Jimmy Rohan. Angels got three in the first inning. A base hit with two outs, an error by young Sergio Garcia. That allowed Rivera to come up and he hit a home run. Well, the Dodgers worked their way back to get one in the second inning and added one more in the third. Angels three runs four hits Dodgers two runs two hits fastball up and in one and two the count to Chris Truby Dan Davidson picking up for Irvin Santana naturally you can't wait for the start of the season. Because in spring training, no matter what happens, you always hear the little voice inside that says so. I mean, if a guy kicks a ground ball or hits a grand slam home run in spring training, the voice still says so. But starting tomorrow, it's another story. And so Truby strikes out. Dan Davidson comes in to nail signs and Truby. And at the end of four and a half, three two, Angel. Chivas Soccer on FSN West 2. Chivas USA is reloaded and ready to rumble with Real Salt Lake as they kick off the 2006 MLS season. Real Salt Lake, Chivas USA, today at 3.30 on FSN West 2.
got games, so I wear K Swiss, K Swiss, K Swiss. Have you made the O part of your morning? Or perhaps part of your game? Maybe an afternoon in. Or an hour in the gym. An elegant evening out. Or a vacation somewhere far away. You'll save on thousands of products at Overstock.com, as well as books, business supplies, auctions, and travel. Make the O part of your life. Overstock.com. It's all about the O. Nothing is more powerful than the truth, and the truth is, more Americans choose Chevy than any other brand. See why during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. Now, through April 4th, get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a 2006 Tahoe. Plus $1,000 bonus cash on select 2006 Tahoe models in stock. Offer applies to select vehicles in inventory. See your local Chevy dealer today or visit us online at SoCalChevy.com. Friend, a reminder, the Dodgers want you to save big with the popular buy two tickets, get two free ticket package. You buy two season seats in select areas at the lows and reserve level and receive two season seats free. Now that's four season tickets for all Dodger home games at half the price. For more information, call 1-866-DODGERS or visit Dodgers.com. Luis Gonzalez, a left-hander who was not on the roster for the simple reason he was selected in a Rule 5 draft, but he has been returned. And so Luis Gonzalez will be pitching. The left-hander will start against Brandon Wood. Wood hitting just 188 in the spring, but the Angels feel he really has a chance to be a good one. Two and all the count. The Luis Gonzalez working on Brandon Wood and he's off the plate. When Brandon Wood was a good fielding light hitting freshman in high school he wore number four. Not because he liked the number. He wore number four because it was only the only jersey small enough to fit him. Well he has certainly eaten his vegetables. He's now 6'3", 185 and wears number three. A high pick first round choice. The Angels gave him over a million dollars to sign. At Rancho Cucamonga, A ball, he hit 321. And then they moved him to Salt Lake City, Triple A, for just four games, and he hit 316. When he was at Rancho Cucamonga, he just tore up the place. He had 43 home runs and 115 runs batted in. And with all those credentials, down he goes. So one out in the fifth. Edgardo Alfonso. So it is spring training indeed when you see a 21 year old go up to the plate, followed by someone who will be 33 years old. And Alfonso ball one. Big blow a three run home run in the first inning by Juan Rivera on the heels of a big error by young Sergio Garcia. Dodgers down 3 0 came back with a run in the second and a run in the third. Garcia after the error then turned around and made a dazzling catch of a pop fly in shallow right field. A drive to right Cody Ross over there to flag it. So we have two down here in the fifth inning. And the batter will be Macier is Turris. So Luis Gonzalez out of the bullpen. And Macier is Turris on the mound. 
Mayshear is 25. He won't be 26 until September. 5 8 1 60, ball one. Is Turris coming over from the Montreal Expos, a team that is no longer bearing that name, of course. Is Turris hitting 255 in the spring? Brett Tomko started for the Dodgers. And had it not been for the era, might very well have gotten his work in without allowing a run. Though as Torres draws the walk, and with two down, Tim Salmon coming up. Tim Salmon, the DH, struck out twice against Tomko. They're going to keep an eye on Macy or his tourist. He runs well. He had nine stolen bases last year, has stolen as many as 32 in the minors, and had three years in a row where he stole 14. That walk, the first one given up today by a Dodger pitcher, given up by Luis Gonzalez. So Macy Urias Duras at first base with two out. Gonzalez just eyeballing him. Salmon fouls it off his foot. No play. Tomorrow, opening day, the Dodgers and the Braves. The matchup, Derek Lowe and Tim Hudson tomorrow. Brad Penny draws John Smoltz Tuesday night. And Odalis Perez and Horacio Ramirez Wednesday night. Then the Dodgers go out on the road to Philadelphia and Pittsburgh and then come home and settle in for their first real homestand of the year. And that will be the Giants, followed by the Cubs, followed by Arizona. So a great first homestand. Three to two Angels. Bottom of the fifth. Fastball at the knees for a strike. So for Salmon, who has struck out twice, now he has a two strike count. 290 home runs he has hit in his brilliant career with the Angels. The Angels last year went to the whip just when it counted. You may remember. They were nose to nose, neck and neck with the Oakland A's. And then the Angels won 21 of their final 30 games, wound up winning 95 to win going away. Then beat the Yankees and then stumbled against the White Sox. All three. Of course, if Bartolo Colon, the Cy Young Award winner, had he been healthy, that he didn't have to walk off the field in obvious pain. The Angels might have gone all the way. Macy or his Duras at first, they're not holding him on. Three and two the count, so he'll get a good jump. There he goes on ball four to Salmon. So Gonzalez took care of Wood and Alfonso, then gives up back to back walks to his Duras and Salmon. And Mike Elward coming up, finishing up for Casey Kochman. So Gonzalez in a little trouble. Neona Navarro out there to try to counsel him. Mike Elward will be 27 from Clearwater, went to school at the University of South Florida. And that's a strike. Elward last two years playing in Arkansas and last year 
had a good year hit 287 with 14 home runs 72 runs batted in. A strike 0 and 2. Elward 6 2 2 10. Beautiful day nice crowd on hand here at Angel Stadium. We had 43,000 last night. 43 481. Fastball pop foul off first and that will go back into the crowd. Still 0 and 2. I'm not that familiar with everyone connected with the Angel organization, but I just noticed he's playing first base for Casey Kochman. He was signed by an Angel scout, Tom Kochman, who probably is related to Casey. Line drive, base hit. Up with it is Lede. The throw will be cut off. The run is in. His tourist scores, and it's four to two, Angels. And now we double check and Tom Kochman is Casey Kochman's father and the boy he is replaced him by is Mike Elwood the fellow that he signs so that's a nice story. So Gonzalez gives up two walks and pays for it. And the Angels now lead four to two. Cody Fuller finishing up in center field for Rivera. Oh, and won the count. The Dodgers and the Braves tomorrow. Braves, a truly remarkable franchise, superbly talented, and winning the division 14 straight years. What a tribute to John Sherholtz and to Bobby Cox and the entire organization. Last year, the Dodgers split their six meetings with Atlanta. Dodgers lost two out of three at Dodgers Stadium and then returned the favor and won two out of three at Turner Field. Tim Hudson who will pitch tomorrow for Atlanta beat the Dodgers twice last year and that will do it but a couple of walks and a base hit for a run and at the end of five Angels four Dodgers two. Tony my friend you just couldn't resist that tantalizing price per gallon. Sometimes it doesn't pay for you to buy in bulk. That's why we do it for you. At Cerritos Auto Square, we sell more cars than anyone in the world, and we pass the savings on to you. Cerritos Auto Square, we sell more, so you save more. Still waiting. Still trying to download this song. <clears throat> Little advice from the digital guy. Bring it on, Digital Max. Ditch the dial-up and speed it up with Cox High-Speed Internet. Just like this. Experience the Internet at its beautiful best with tons of speed you can only get from Cox. That is fast, and fast is beautiful. It's easy when you have a friend in the digital age. Why blend in when you can stand out? Introducing the all-new Mercury Milan. The mid-sized sedan that goes its own way. Milan is definitely a cut above. It's a blast to drive. Whew, who knew you could have this much fun? And get 32 miles per gallon highway. Milan is the mid-sized car you've been waiting for. Now lease Milan with zero first month's payment, zero down, and zero cash due at signing for just $2.56 a month. you got to put Mercury on your list. It's Milan! Tomorrow, the channel you are watching will no longer be the same. 
A reminder, after the three-game series with Atlanta, the Dodgers will go on the road, and then we'll have their first real homestand, the San Francisco Giants, the Chicago Cubs, and the Arizona Diamondbacks. So don't just overlook the rest of the year with opening day tomorrow. Let's go back to this one. And this one is 4-2 to two in favor of the Angels, with Jimmy Rohan followed by Cody Ross and Deanna Navarro, and left-hander Dan Davidson on the hill. Rohan finishing up for Bill Miller, who was hit on the foot and came out. Jimmy, born in Granada Hills, lives in Valencia. Foul back. Went to Valencia High School. And he's just 21. He'd be 22 the middle of May. 0 oh and 2. And hits one right to his shortstop, Brandon Wood. One away. So Cody Ross coming up. Cody Ross hit on the hand by a pitch in the third inning. And that shook the Dodgers up again. Bill Miller was hit on the foot in the second inning and he had to leave the game. The specter of injury. There is no way to defend against it. On one. Angels got three in the first inning and added another in the fifth. Dodgers scored single runs in the second and third. Good crowd, beautiful day, and the last exhibition game of the year. One on one. Ground ball to the hole, backhanded there by Brandon Wood. Good arm. Two down. Say, friends. By now you know the Dodgers host the Atlanta Braves tomorrow afternoon, but they're there also Tuesday and Wednesday nights at 7:10. All fans in attendance will receive a Dodger car window cling, compliments of General Motors. So visit Dodgers.com or call 1-866-Dodgers. Oh, it'll be great to get the season underway, huh? Wow. That's right. Navarro 0 for 2 grounded out hit into a force play. Both those had bats left handed. Sergio Garcia on deck. High pop back a third. Alfonso and foul ground. And that'll be that. So the Dodgers go quietly. That's 10 in a row retired. And at the end of five and a half, four two Angels. SBC is now the new AT&T. And there's no better time than right now to leave your old cable company and get into true high-speed internet from the new AT&T. Right now, you can get our lowest price ever, $12.99 a month for 12 months when you order online at att.com slash $12.99. And if you switch now from cable, you can get three months of free high-speed internet service just for making the switch. If you're paying more for the same old cable service, now is the time to switch to the new AT&T. Your world delivered. We know what you do out there, so we put an award-winning Xterra in here. The Nissan Xterra, Motor Trend 2006 Sport Utility of the Year. With a covered gearbox, rear bumper steps, and easy clean cargo area. Now drive the 2006 Nissan Xterra from just $20,555. Extra stuff, extra powerful Xterra. A history lesson. A first bite. A towering blast. A lucky hat. A new hero. Dodger baseball. What will you take home? 
Take home all the action all season with our Blue Heaven Value Plan. Season seats start at just $3. To order, visit Dodgers.com or call 866-DODGERS. Oh, come on, honey. Give us a smile. It's 4-2 Angels. Somewhere behind those beautiful eyes, there's got to be a smile. And she's saying, no, I... Uh, despite Dad's pleading... By the way, talking about pleading, and you want to talk about the problems of spring training, this is so typical of what has happened today. The Dodgers brought in a left-hander. We checked his number, Luis Gonzalez, and I told you about it. he was a Rule 5 pitcher who was sent back, et cetera, et cetera. And then we found out just a little while ago, Josh Rawish told us, they switched jerseys. And Grady Little has brought in not Luis Gonzalez, but that left-hander out there is Eric Stoltz. So he was pitching under an assumed name in the last inning. He's 26 years old, an even six, 215 pounds out of Indiana. At Jacksonville, four and three, then he moved up to Vegas last year, and that was a little tough. He was three and seven. He'll be 27 come December. A little fastball hit in the air to shallow right. Ross coming in a hurry, but it's going to drop. So it's a pop fly single for Rob Quinlan's replacement. Number 51, Ryan Buddy. Ryan Buddy, the backup catcher today. Molina started. And Buddy checks in. Four runs and six hits for the Angels. Two runs, two hits for the Dodgers. Quinlan at first. Buddy trying to move him. One ball and no strikes. On deck, Curtis Pride. Ryan Buddy is from Oklahoma. Right handed all the way. Buddy will be 27 the middle of August. He's been a pro in the Angels system since 2001. Two balls and no strikes to Buddy. Rob Quinlan at first. Buddy last year 13 home runs at Rancho Cucamonga they moved him to Salt Lake and he hit a half a dozen. That's a strike. Two and one. E U D D E and facing Eric Stoltz S T U L T S. Mishikawa Indiana. Good fastball couldn't catch up to it two and two the count. When Stoltz was in college. He played the outfield. Played center field showed a great arm so they eventually converted him to pitcher. He also played basketball. Still two and two. Angels scored three in the first Dodgers came back one in the second one in the third Angels added one in the fifth. So it's four to two Angels. Two and two. Late couldn't get around on a pretty good fastball but at least he got a little bit of it. So Ryan Buddy trying to. Hang tough up there, two and two the count. Struck out about 20% of the time last year at Salt Lake. 
So he's fought off a couple of pretty good fastballs, and this time ground ball that looks like two and is. So Quinlan forced at second, but he grounds into the double play, and with two down in the sixth inning, the batter is Curtis Pride. So Sergio Garcia feeding Ramon Martinez, and then the flow over to Chris Kruby. Curtis Pride, 37 years old. He'll be 38 in December. Curtis was born deaf, 95% deaf, due to a rubella infection suffered during his mother's pregnancy. And in case you wonder, he is the fifth deaf major league player in history and the first since 1945. He has created a foundation together with pride. He doesn't use sign language. He is very sharp in reading lips. He's been playing professionally for 20 years. You realize what a problem that must be. Let's say he's in left field. A ball is hit to left center and he's running over. Can't hear the center fielder hollering. That's just one of many problems he has had to overcome. So you really have to admire him. A drive to center for a base hit. So a two out single by Curtis Pride to go one for three today. Brandon Wood is now coming up. So Brandon Wood figures prominently in Angel plans, especially after getting Orlando Cabrera and Cabrera struggling a bit last year. Doesn't mean he's not going to come back and play well, but uh, meanwhile, Brandon Wood is just waiting. Cabrera will be 32, and Brandon Wood is only 21, so you can understand the plan. And last year, he had a tremendous year at Rancho Cucamonga. He did everything right. He had 43 home runs, 51 doubles, and 115 RBIs, and he's trying to move Curtis Pride at first base. Change that time. One and one. Brandon Wood, a first round draft pick, with everything else, he not only knocked in 115, he scored 109. I mean, he was absolutely magnificent, hitting 321. He's the fellow we mentioned earlier who wore number four in high school. Not because he was a power hitter, it was the smallest jersey they had for him to wear. Angels figure he's going to be a perennial all star infielder, either at shortstop or third base. They are that high on him. Meanwhile, Eric Stoltz trying to get an out and get out of the inning. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Four to two Angels. You know, when you look at Brandon Wood, what he did last year, he actually hit a total of 58 home runs between the Miners, the Arizona Fall League, and Team USA. And doesn't get it in the dirt, but Navarro makes the play anyway. So Wood strikes out, two hits, one left, and at the end of six, four two Angels. KFC's all new fiery buffalo snacker, just 99 cents, an all white meat chicken sandwich smothered in fiery buffalo sauce. Your dollar goes further at KFC. Es ist schneller. The world has always been inspired by the sleek design and technological innovations of the Lexus RX. It's just a little something. Disaster. But now that we've made it even more powerful, the competition 
might find themselves somewhat at a loss. Introducing the new 270 horsepower RX 350 from Lexus, putting the world on notice yet again. Fresh beer brewed here. In addition to award-winning microbrew beer, the Steelhead Brewing Company also has a great menu. Steelhead's pizza, made from fresh ingredients, is slowly roasted in our wood-fired oven. Plus, there's fresh seafood, steaks, pastas, and specialty dishes. The Steelhead Brewing Company is the place to relax with family or friends, have lunch, dinner, enjoy the live entertainment, get into the game on our sports TV, or just kick back on the patio. The Steelhead Brewing Company, Irvine. It's the 2006 Orange County Music Awards presented by American First Credit Union and the Mai Tai Bar. Orange County's musical diversity comes together competing in 30 different categories on Saturday, April 8th at the Grove of Anaheim. With Orange County music ruling the charts around the world, this is your chance to see what's next. Tickets on sale now at the Grove box office or online at Ticketmaster.com. Proceeds benefit Right to Rock Music Program. Oh Don't miss the 2006 Orange County Music Awards. For more information, log on to OrangeCountyMusicAwards.com. Oh my gosh, what a pitch! Dodger Baseball on FSN West 2 is brought to you by your Lexus dealer and the new 2006 RX400H, the world's first luxury hybrid. Seventh inning here at Angel Stadium, it is four to two Angels and Sergio Garcia to start it off. Joe's bunt, ball one. Garcia walked and flied to right, but his area in the first inning set the stage for the three run home run by Juan Rivera. Two and oh. Dan Davidson picking up for Irvin Santana. Right. And popped up back a third, and it'll be Alfonso. Foul ball for the catch in case you're brushing up on your scoring. One away, or brushing up on your cotton candy eating. <laughs> well, he's not worrying about sugar intake right now. Now, there's a fellow who's headed for the School of Diplomacy. A Dodger shirt and an angel hat. Rafael for call started the game and went over three and now Ramon Martinez finishing up for him. And that's a fly ball to left field Curtis pride coming in. Two down. So Martinez, who played third base last night, finishing up at shortstop today. And as Ned Coletti was saying earlier, the Dodgers had to send Oscar Robles to AAA. But as happened last year, it is such a long year. They expect that somewhere along the line, perhaps Robles will be coming back. Jose Cruz started in left field had a couple of walks and now Jeff Duncan is finishing up in center and he drives one to left but pride is there. So that's that. So the Dodgers are doing what they did last night. They just stopped hitting. They have not had a hit since the third inning and it's 4 2 Angel. AVP volleyball is back. The season opens in Florida with many new teams on the men's side and a reliable dynasty on the women's. Catch all the action from Fort Lauderdale tonight at 9 on FSN West 2. Hi, I'm Kenny Rogers. As the gambler, I've come to appreciate the kind of casino where real players play. L.A. and Orange County residents, it's double cover at Barona Valley Ranch Resort and Casino in San Diego. Through April 30th, join the club, play the slots for two hours, and we'll double your winnings up to $200 or cover your losses up to $200. With Club Barona, either way, you win. Are you in? 
New Club Verona signups only. For complete details, visit Verona.com or call 866-8-VERONA. Absolutely huge. The biggest thing I have ever seen. I couldn't believe it was covered in chili. It's time to really go big with Wiener Schnitzel's new one-third pound big dogs. Introducing the monstrous mouth-watering classic double cheese jelly, the savory, satisfying barbecue bacon, and the delicious crop-covered pastrami Reuben. The new big dogs are huge in size and taste, and they're only at Wiener Schnitzel. The Lexus RX has already earned the admiration of the world. But now that the new RX 350 is even more powerful, it's no wonder that for some, envy has turned into obsession. Introducing the 270 horsepower RX 350 from Lexus. Oh, hello. Putting the world on notice yet again. See your Southern California Lexus dealer. We've reached the bottom of the seventh inning, four to two in favor of the Angels. Edgardo Alfonso, followed by Macy Aristuris and Tim Salmon. The Dodgers using a new catcher behind the plate is Edwin Bellerin from Bolivar in Venezuela. A chopper to Sergio Garcia, one away. So Alfonso goes 0 for 4. There is Edwin Bellerin. He is only 24, 5 9, but a chunky 225. He was at Vero Beach last year, Jacksonville the year before, so he actually went backwards a little bit. Ball one. Last year, Bellerin, as he handles Eric Stoltz, committed only two errors the whole season. We get the paid attendance, and it's another very fine crowd. 43,267. 43,267. That would be about 214 fewer than last night. Four runs, seven hits for the Angels, two runs, two hits for the Dodgers. Oh my gosh, look at there. Yeah, all bundled up. Mom taking her with her. Little roller hit off the end of the stick, and Garcia makes the play to Truby. Two down. Yeah, if you look at the Dodger offense, 13 in a row retired. Their last hit, he only had two hits. Lede singled a right in the third inning, and Ross singled a center in the second. Otherwise, the Dodgers have not had any offense at all. Last night, they managed only two hits after the second inning. And here's Tim Salmon. Salmon struck out twice and walked, 0 for 2. Uh, one of the more heartwarming stories for the Angels, Salmon banged up coming back from surgery, thinking he might be finished, and instead he's had a solid spring, hitting 327, and he's made the club. He was saying what an emotional moment it was for him last year. When he was leaving Angel Stadium, taking a backward glance and then in the rearview mirror, wondering, is that the last time I'll ever play there? Well, he hits one in the air to left center, and Jeff Duncan is there to put it away. So the Angels go one, two, three, and we have seven in the books Angels four, Dodgers two. Right now, as members of Best Western Speed Rewards, stay six nights and earn a free night and earn points towards exclusive NASCAR licensed merchandise. Join today at bestwesternracing.com slash free night. T-bone, porterhouse, for that big non ribeye. Mm, steak. I like steak. 
steak. There are two ways to have a juicy steak in the morning. Good most any time. One is just a little more difficult. I like steak. The Steak and Egg Burrito, new at Carl's Jr. Somewhere in the world, right this minute, your soulmate is out there. Mike and I were both on another site, and, and we, we never we met. We never found each other. We Got lived five it. miles apart, and we wouldn't have ever known the other existed. It's as if we knew each other our whole lives, but yet we grew up on two different sides of the planet. Find that one person that is going to see you, accept you, and love you passionately for who you really are. Through eHarmony, we've exactly. found our soulmates. Get your compatibility profile. A $50 value free. The signs are everywhere. It's Toyota's premier event. While you're there, check out the Toyota trucks with great deals going on now. Get an incredible 3,000 cash back on a new 06 Tundra SR5 V8 access cab. Or choose a low 2.9 APR on any new 06 Tundra. You can even choose 1,000 cash back or low 2.9 financing on a new 06 Forerunner. Toyota's premier event is on. Don't miss it. Toyota, moving forward. Tomorrow, the channel you are watching will no longer be the same. Say, friends, the Dodgers host the Giants on Friday, April the 14th at 7.40, Saturday at 7.10. All fans in attendance receive a Jackie Robinson night poster, compliments of the L.A. Times, and on Sunday at 1.10, so don't miss any of the action. Visit Dodgers.com or call 1-866-Dodgers. I think the seal of the new year will be broken. Opening up with Atlanta, then the road trip, but then it becomes an official year when the Giants come to Dodger Stadium. A couple of changes. First of all, Bob Zimmerman is the new pitcher. Brian Speck is a new second baseman. Nathan Bland is at third. That's a strike. The Ricky Lede flied to left, single to right, has one of the two Dodger hits and popped up. Fouled away. Ricky hitting 296 in the spring, looking at Bob Zimmerman. Zimmerman, big fella, 6'5, 245 pounds. You have to have a broad back with all the letters in his last name. Born in St. Louis from the Show Me State, and that's what he's doing for Mike Sosha and the Angels. He was at Rancho Cucamongo last year. Just really starting out at 24. So Irvin Santana followed by Dan Davidson. Davidson went three innings and just shut the Dodgers down completely. Struck out two, did not allow a hit, didn't walk anybody. And Lede trying to break a string. The last 13 Dodgers have gone down, and now you can make it 14. So Lede goes down swinging and Olmedo signs coming up. Signs getting in his at bats. Last night he was 0 for 4 playing first base. Today as the DH 0 for 2 with a walk. And a little looper to the right side and Brian Speck is on it for the second out. Speck played center field last night. Chris Truby is coming up. No more Garcia Parra, 0 for 2 today, struck out twice. Truby hitting under 200 for the spring. Breaking ball strike 0 and 1. So Bob Zimmerman trying to keep it going.
in the dirt. It's away from Ryan Buddy. Tomorrow opening day at Dodger Stadium with the Atlanta Braves. And that's going to be whacked into right center field. The Truby on his way for two. Cody Fuller gets the ball back to the infield. So a two out double by Chris Truby breaks the string after 15 in a row had been retired. By the way we're uh, we're still struggling of course in spring training and the third baseman for the Angels is Adam Pavkovich and Adam is wearing the uniform number of a pitcher just to really confuse us we ran into that trouble with the Dodgers with Louis Gonzalez and Eric Stoltz it's all part of the problem. Oh and one the count to Jimmy Rohan makes his home in Valencia two out eighth inning four to two angels off speed fouled away the breaking news for the Dodgers. We were given the note that Grady Little has had to lose his starting center fielder, Kenny Lofton, who had to go on the DL with muscle spasms. We have not heard anything. We assume that Bill Miller is all right. He was hit on the foot. But the specter of injuries that plagued the Dodgers last year raises an ugly head to look in the end of spring training this year. Well, Bob Zimmerman, the third angel pitcher, Jimmy Rohan with a one and two count, trying to pick up Truby, fouled away. On deck, Cody Ross. Cody Ross hit on the hand in the third inning. The Dodgers holding their breaths, but he was okay and stayed in the game. One and two the count. The Rohan trying to get Truby home. Jimmy finished up last night. Getting a little more play today. Four runs, seven hits for the Angels, two runs, three hits, one error for the Dodgers. The error set up a three run home run by Juan Rivera. Ouch, that got him. So the Dodgers have three men get hit by a pitch today Miller, Ross, and now Rohan. First gentleman out of Texas and Pinehurst, North Carolina. Brady Little has seen a lot. And it looks like Rohan is okay. The hand is so complicated with all the bones in it that anytime a player is hit on the hand, you have to worry. Jason Worth hit on the wrist on the DL. Never even saw him swing a bat this spring. JD Drew, broken wrist. Tough stuff. So Cody Ross, single to center. Hit on the hand and grounded out. So Cody won for two. So with Kenny Lofton on the DL, Cody Ross figures to get in some playing time. A hopper to shortstop, and they'll get the force play, and that's it. So the Dodgers leave two, and at the end of seven and a half, it remains Angels four, Dodgers two. Come on, Big Bush! Ah, you did this to me! 
every bite's a dream. The new lineup of Dream Pie Blizzard Treats at Dairy Queen. This is life in Southern California. This is life in drive. These are the things we love to do. And this car makes driving one of them. The new Ford Fusion. With the style, features, and performance we've been waiting for. And now a lease that makes it all possible. $219 a month for 36 months with Ford's matching down payment. The new Fusion. Life and drive. Only at your Ford dealer. Cox has always been known for providing superior customer service. And now, for the third year in a row, Cox has received J.D. Power & Associates' highest honor in telephone customer satisfaction. It's just one more way we show our commitment to our customers. And one more reason to choose Cox for all your digital services. Cox Communications, your friend in the digital age. NBA on ESPN HD. You'll see every shot, slam dunk, and block like never before. Catch the excitement, stars, and passion of the NBA in the crystal clear widescreen clarity of high definition. It's like having courtside seats in your own home. The NBA on ESPN HD, the big picture in sports. Four to two Angels, you would never know that we lost an hour last night and this game starting time was moved up. You talk about youthful enthusiasm. They got it going. Meanwhile, there are those deadly serious, even though it's the waning moments of an exhibition game. <laughs> Great sights. Kids at the ballpark. Wonderful. Little girl sang the national anthem today, and we regret we didn't have a production sheet, so we don't know her name, but if I had to guess she was around 11 years old, had pigtails, and I mean she wowed the crowd. Just great. Mike Elwood, the first baseman, starting it off. Elwood finishing up for Casey Kochman. And as we mentioned, Casey's dad was the one who signed Elwood. So Elwood, Fuller, and Quinlan in that order. 0 oh and 2. So Eric Stoltz picking up for Brett Tomko. Fastball foul back. Angels got three in the first. Macy or Astura singled with two out. Kochman ground ball hit hard but should have been fielded. Garcia couldn't handle it. So instead of the last out that brought up Rivera and he hit a three run home run. The long throw by Rohan on the money to Truby. And that'll do it for Elwood. One out here in the eighth inning. The batter will be Cody Fuller is coming up. Fuller finishing up in center field for Juan Rivera. Fourth round pick last year, so he's really just starting. One ball and no strikes. Cody out of Texas and last year actually played in the big leagues his first year. He played in 19 games. Didn't do much, didn't figure to do much, hit 210. Did have a half a dozen RBIs in the big leagues, then went to Rancho Cucamonga and hit 270. Gee. Every time I say that I think of my childhood I mean when I was a little fella listening to Jack Benny's radio show Mel Blank did all those great voices and I thought it was hilarious I so did the whole country when you would hear Anaheim Azusa and Cucamonga 
and back east we is the, is that impossible? Who ever heard of those places? <laughs> Here we are. And ball four to Cody Fuller. Jack Benny was he something? Clean as a whistle and as funny as it can get. Anaheim Azusa and Tukamunga. Rob Quinlan doubled, grounded out, and singled. Having a, a big day, two for three. Ball one. Rob Quinlan will be uh, 29 on St. Patrick's Day. He's been with the Angels a little bit three years ago, a little bit two years ago, and a little bit last year, meaning a third of the season or thereabouts. Having a good spring. Rob at 29 out of Minnesota. Most of the time, Rob Quinlan appeared against left hand pitching and he responded. He hit 289 and all five home runs against left hander, including two against Barry Zito. Fouled away. Crowd of 43,267 taking in the last spring training game of the year. 4 7 0 for the Angels, 2 3 1 for the Dodgers, who have just one hit since the third inning and only three hits in the game. Of course, when you when you get to this stage of spring training and the Dodgers do not have the regular lineup, you're not really expressing a lot of runs. Runner going, ground ball, hit and run, single to right field. So a nice bit of hitting to send Cody Fuller to third. And Quinlan uh, eats up left handers pretty well, continues to show his overall abilities against them. So Angels at first and third, and Ryan Buddy, the catcher, will be coming up. So over at third is Cody Fuller and Dino Abel, the coach. By the way, Dino Abel in the third base coaching box for the Angels spent 17 years in the Dodger organization. 17 years. So you look at the Dodger influence on the Angels staff, and it's amazing. You start with Mike Sosha, then you have Fellas who played with the Dodgers, Mickey Hatcher, Alfredo Griffin, Ron Renicky, and now Dino Abel after 17 years in the Dodger organization. Pitching coach Bud Black, however, never wore the blue. Four to two Angels, bottom of the eighth inning. One out, Fuller at third, Quinlan at first. Good fastball to Buddy who hit into a double play in the sixth inning. There he is, one of our favorite people, Mike Sosha. You talk about the big ones who got away. The Dodgers with that particular group at the helm. And Sosha becoming a fixture here for seven years. A fine manager, a tremendous ball player, and a great human being. 0 and 1. Nice little off speed pitch that time. No buddy out in front. 4 to 2 Angels, bottom of the eighth. One 
and two the count. Angels flying to Seattle. They open up tomorrow. Bartolo Colon, the Cy Young winner, will be aboard. Ground ball to third. The out is there, and they turn it in time. So the double play stops the Angels from scoring, and at the end of eight, the Angels four, the Dodgers two. history lesson a first bite a towering blast a lucky hat a new hero Dodger baseball what will you take home on Tuesday April 4th Wednesday April 5th take home a Dodger car window cling from General Motors for tickets visit Dodgers.com or call 866 Dodgers Grady Little sitting there quietly, but you know inside he's got to be worrying. The Dodgers last night in 10 innings failed to score and had five hits. Today in eight innings they've managed just two runs on three hits. Now they're going to see Jonathan Rowanhorst. Rowanhorst born in Bellflower and he makes his home here in Anaheim. Rowan Horst is 26. He'll be 27 in September. They also make a change in the outfield as Jonathan tunes up. Matt Pally or Pauly P A L I takes over in left field and Curtis Pride moves to right. So there is Matt Pauly P A L I. Pauly is from Houston Texas. On a local telecast, we're always afraid that we fail to show you a, a local boy, especially. So we're ready to go. For the Dodgers, Edwin Bellerin, the catcher. Fly ball to center, Cody Fuller. One out. The so one pitch, one away in the ninth. Sergio Garcia going all the way at second base. Jonathan Rowanhorst attended Brethren Christian High School in Cyprus, Biola University in La Mirada. Todd Worrell and Tim Worrell went to Biola. Bellerin a little ground ball to short. Brandon Wood takes care of him on a close play. So the Dodgers are down to their last out in the final exhibition game. The Angels will finish 18 and 11 with two ties. The Dodgers will finish up 15 and 13 with five ties. The Ramon Martinez finishing up for Rafael for call and with his foot in the door as Rowan Horse tries to close it up. 
Martinez finishing up hit 293 for Grady in spring training. That's right. On one. Rowan Horse spells that name R O U W E N H O R S T. So Zimmerman followed by Rowan Horse. The only thing the Dodgers did at all offensively was against Irvin Santana. But Davidson, Zimmerman, and now Rowan Horse have just shut Grady's club down. Well, you talk about swinging your leg. Watch Rowan Horst. He really gives you a distracting leg movement. It'll start low and can right there's a beginning up high. Now the stride forward. The, that takes care of Moan Martinez and the Dodgers go down without kicking for the Angels to win it. Four runs, eight hits. And the Dodgers, two runs, just three hits, one error. Dodgers left eight and the Angels six. So, mercifully, this exhibition game has come to an end. Mercifully, because of all the changes and young players who will not be seen for a while. So, the Angels head for Seattle, the Dodgers head for Dodger Stadium, and tomorrow, the 2006 season will get underway. And remember, we'll start off on FSN Prime Ticket with Dodgers Live at noon. The pitching for the series, Derek Lowe and Tim Hudson tomorrow afternoon. Brad Penny and John Smoltz Tuesday night. Odalis Perez and Horacio Ramirez will be Wednesday night. And of course, with those games, everything counts. So that'll do it. From Angel Stadium in Anaheim, the final score, the Angels four, the Dodgers two. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Until then, have a very pleasant Sunday afternoon.